Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm so happy that you took some time today to watch this video. So today I wanted to have fun and play with some new makeup pieces that I got. I did pick up a few products from Guerlain and especially from their new collection, um, Pearl Glow. So I thought we would have fun and do kind of like a get ready with me with this stuff and the makeup I have. So I just brought in my little space, my little makeup tray here, and I will show you what I got and I'll get ready. So, taking my glasses off. <laughs> so I already have all of my face products on, like my, uh, you know, I put all, I cleaned my face, put all of my moisturizer, serum, eye cream, uh, primer, all of that stuff. And it's settled in. So I can go directly to foundation. So I have my makeup sponge here. Um, today, I don't want too thick of a coverage. So I'm going to go with my lighter foundation. So it is the Chanel Les Beige in color 22 Rosé. And what I'll do is I'll just, I just do one pump on my hand. You can kind of see that consistency. So this is like the older formula because they did change it recently. And the newer formula is, is runnier. Um, so, and then I just kind of dab it on. all over my face and oh I love 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 the smell of Chanel products they're amazing like that I, I wish they sold this fragrance in a bottle I would spray it around my house non-stop or that they made candles with this scent oh I just love it so much it's not for everybody but I absolutely adore this scent that is in Chanel Cosmetics. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And this makeup is buildable, so if you're looking for, you know, a more medium to fuller coverage, you can build it up. But especially on a Sunday right now where I'm just going to be doing schoolwork. <laughs> um, I don't want a very thick coverage. Okay, so that's on. Lovely. Okay. Next, uh, some concealer. So I use the um, the Dior Forever. I can't see without my glasses on. Skin corrector. <laughs> in uh, color 2N. It's a bit dark. I need to go to get a lighter one. But I really, really love this one in the sense that it's really good to spot. Because I have vitil vitiligo, I have these white spots, right? This like depigmentation. Um, and so I have spots on my face that have no pigmentation at all. And I really, really love that concealer to cover up those parts that maybe need additional layers because when you're putting foundation on it's it's equal all over your face but I still have places that have no pigmentation that still look really really pale and that's where this comes in I put that on uh, to spot correct those uh, those areas so I just put on a little bit of color because I'm like, that's around my eyes is one of those places that I have really, really bad vitiligo. And then I have this lighter concealer. And I'm gonna take my, my Chanel double-ended concealer brush. So I'm gonna start with the flat side. I'm just gonna take a little mirror out. 
what I do with this flat brush is I just mix it in like that. And this concealer, I didn't even tell you what it is. This is the Chanel Le Blanc Concealer. I love this. Um, in number... I have to put my glasses on for this one. Uh, number 10. In number 10. And it's just like this stick concealer. And again, I am a sucker for the Le Blanc collection. Um... Most of my skincare, if not all of it, is Le Blanc. Um, I can't say all of it because my eye products are not Le Blanc, but I absolutely love the Le Blanc products, especially for someone with a skin problem like mine. Um, it just illuminates the face, so it makes my skin look a little more even um, because of those white spots, because I'm bringing in light it just evens out my skin so beautifully. And then I take the fluffier side of this concealer brush and I just blend it in. So it just makes it look super, super natural. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a little bit with my eyes. So, um, no, first I'm going to do my eyebrows, my eyebrows. Okay, so I just brush my eyebrows out. I have really, really light eyebrows that I have to color in. So I'm using my Rare Beauty eyebrow pencil. I'm pretty much at the end of it. Honestly, I'm gonna be super honest, I don't love this. I'm sticking to it because I'm in this phase of like, I wanna finish the products I have, I don't buy before I'm done something. So I'm sticking it out until the end, but I will not repurchase this. I don't love it, I don't, no. I'm so used to, for so many years, I've used the Chanel Stylo Sourci. Um, this one is an 810. Brun Profond, and um, I love it so much more. I love it so much more. This is actually empty. <laughs> this is what I use the, the brush for, um, the eyebrow brush, until I buy a new one when this is done. But yeah, I'm going back to that. So I'm just gonna slightly color this in. And the other end of this, it's a, it's like a gel. I really don't like that at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. Maybe for someone with fuller eyebrows, but someone like me, it just, I don't think it looks nice. So I just slightly follow the line of my eyebrows. And then I'm just going to brush them out. Like when I feel like I put a little bit too much, I just brush it and it takes away that extra product. Okay, now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then we're going to do eyeshadow. I always do all this. Um, well, I feel like my foundation is setting in a little bit. So I'll just curl. I have this elastic keeping it closed because um, this is a Tarte um, eyelash curler, which I love, but I used to have like a plastic piece that you just put there and it keeps it shut, but it broke. And so, and I don't like it staying. <laughs> I don't like it staying open, so I just take this rubber band and uh, keep it closed. Okay, so now I need my dual-ended 
eyeshadow brush. I, I really love these brushes. Plus, because you have two ends, you get like, you know, two brushes for your money and they're really, really good brushes. I'm really, really loving these. So for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Natural Eyes. I've been really, really enjoying this compact, this palette, but there is a huge flaw with this. And there's a lot, a lot of fallout of this. So when you're using it, you kind of see some eyeshadow just come out in the air. And it, it smells very desserty. Like it smells strong of like sweetness, like sugar. So, you know, you just have to be careful because you're inhaling that when you're putting it on because of that fallout that's in the air. You, you inhale it, you breathe it. So you actually taste that sugar. <laughs> So that's, that's something I don't like about this palette. Um, I love these colors. I've been using them a lot, but I probably won't buy this again because of all that fallout that really bothers me. Um, but it was a really good first experience for me to learn to play with eyeshadow and to see that I enjoy it. So first I'm gonna go with this strip poker, this um, beige right here on the bottom. And I just use that all over my my lid kind of like a like a nice base for my eyeshadow and it's really the color it's, it's like skin color see it just gives it a good just a really good base okay like that And then, I feel like I lost the brush more. Did I? Okay, that's our same for after. Then um, I go for my pink silk teddy. And I put that on top all over my, my lid. Such a pretty pink shimmer. I see. I just got some. I don't want to eat my eyeshadow, <laughs> so so that's just, that's a huge flaw of this thing. But the color is beautiful. So no, I just need if you guys know of a really good eyeshadow palette that you recommend that doesn't have fallout and that has these kinds of colors, um, you know, neutrals, and I like shimmer. Let me know because when there's going to be the spring VIB sale at Sephora, I will pick one up. And then you just kind of I use this fluffier side just to blend out what I feel is leaving big marks kind of thing. Okay. So I just added a little bit of shimmer. Um then I really like this push-up color. Hold on right here. So I'm gonna put that more on the outside of my lids. It's such a pretty. I'm doing a very, very natural look today because again, I'm just gonna be doing a bit of homework. Nothing extraordinary happening today. Um, and then I have this um this like really tiny eyeliner eye brush and I just like to take that for the white this um heaven color and I put that in the tear duct area
And then I'll just take um, this brush again and take some more of this white. Um, but then I just kind of put it like a little bit under my eyebrow just to lighten that up a little bit. And then I just kind of blend what was on my eye here with the fluffier side. Good enough. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put on my mascara base. This is the Marc Jacobs mascara base. Um, it has like this beige color. And I always use this on my lashes before mascara. And I'll put a couple coats of this on. And this is what it really does is that it's gonna make my lashes just look longer, fuller, and it really makes the mascara pop versus if I were to put it directly on my short, stubby, straight lashes. <laughs> I haven't been gifted with amazing lashes. My niece and nephew, one of my nieces just has these amazing, long, thick lashes. Like she'll never need even to put mascara on. She'll just have to curl them maybe, even that. I don't think that's necessary for her ever. Lucky. But I don't want to do the fake lash route. Like, to been there, done that. Yeah, well, I like you. That damaged the heck out of my lashes. Okay. So that's that. And then I just put mascara on top. I'll put on a couple coats. So I use the Benef uh, the no, yeah, Benefit bad gal bang all of a sudden i hesitated on the benefit part has like this plastic flexible wand i love this mascara it's wonderful so look at how my eyes it really makes my eyes pop it's so good You get used to that flexibility in that brush. But I'm really trying to find the new Maybelline Sky High Mascara that seems to be a very similar formula, very similar brush, um, but for a fraction of the price in drugstores. Um, but it sells out and I really, really wanna find it to try it to compare. So that is one coat, and I will go in with a second coat. But you see how, that's cool. I love this mascara, it's so good. So I'm just gonna go in for the second coat. And I don't put mascara on the bottom. I have never, ever, ever succeeded at doing that without it looking messy, so I don't do that anymore. I've given up on the whole mascara on the bottom lash thing. It's beautiful. Yay. Okay. Now we're gonna get in the good stuff. So um I'm gonna put on a tiny bit of bronzer. So I have the Gucci uh, in number two. 
and I just have this like fluffy brush I like to use with it. This has such a nice fragrance. It's very, very light. And it blends just so beautifully. Oh my gosh, I love this bronzer so much. It's the first bronzer that really made me like bronzer because I've always been so afraid of it. And this one just works so nicely. And I didn't go with like a crazy, crazy dark shade either. Like I went natural, but just a little sun-kissed glow even though outside it's snowing it's literally a winter wonderland outside and it's very 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 cold february february is always crazy cold here okay so that's the bronzer see i do it very very light i'm still a little bit scared of bronzer i'm afraid to look dirty um but you know i'll gain confidence then i have the charlotte tilbury uh, Pillow Talk Cheek to Chic Blush, which I absolutely adore if I can open it. <laughs> so it looks like that. I'll just take the same brush and I really, the new Guerlain, Guerlain collection has, um, they came out with two meteorites. I bought the Pearl Glow. They also have a Rosy Glow. And that one I've watched so many videos of and it looks like such a beautiful, soft, angelic blush. And I can't find it anywhere. It's like sold out everywhere. So I'm keeping my eye out for it to come like restock somewhere. And I'm jumping on those. Um, because I think they'll just be such a beautiful, beautiful blush. So I just have this, like, this is a Dior brush I've had for years, and I like to use it to, like, blend and buff. It's a really good buffer brush. There we go. Takes away any streaks. Um, okay. And now we go with one of my new goodies. This Guerlain highlighter. So it's the Meteorite pearl dust palette and it has three colors pearly pink pearly gold and pearly amber so it has this magnetic closure it's a great big mirror and look at these colors so the pearly glow pearly peach pearly pink so i will swatch them to show you what they look like okay and um, so you have the pearly gold, pearly pink, and pearly peach. And let me see if I mix them because that's how I plan on wearing these is all together. And that is the color when I mix all three colors together. This one right here. See how pretty that is? The mix of all three. It's an amazing, beautifully, beautiful highlighter. So for that, I just have like this flat brush and I just dab it in all three. And just kind of sweep it on. Look at that. Look at that light. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It's 
so beautiful. Almost gives it like this wet look. I'm obsessed. I've discovered highlighter and I love it. And you can build this up if you really want like a crazy, crazy glow from space kind of look, but it's so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful product. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of lip liner. This is my Char Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner. Absolutely love it. Um, let me see here, swatch. I really love this lip liner. Okay, it just goes so beautifully with any lipstick I wear. Okay, that's the lip liner on. Okay, now I'm taking a super, super fluffy brush. Um, this is a brush I have from Giorgio Armani that I've had for years and years and years. But I love it. It's really good for my new meteorites. So these are the Pearl Glow meteorites from the spring collection. My first ever meteorites. I've never used meteorites before. So when you open them, they come with this like sponge. And then here they are. Look how beautiful. So you have, you know, pearly white like a champagne gold, pinks, and purple. So let me see here if I swatch, swirl my finger. That's like impossible to show you. <laughs> yes, I'm trying, but you can't tell. Because what it is, it's a, it's a finishing powder that you can use, either use as a highlight or I like to use it all over. And it just gives a really pretty, it smooths everything out first of all, and it gives a nice glow. So I'm just gonna take my brush and swirl it in here. You can see kind of the powder, catch them. And then I just kind of buff it in. Oh, and Gatlinai products have this beautiful, violet scent i mean if you don't like strong scents you won't you won't like this but it does dissip dissipate so can you see that i have a bit of a glow and I look just evened out. Like I, I look blurred a little bit. I love this powder so much. You look almost like, it makes your skin look angelic. Like you really glow. You have this beautiful pearly glow. They named it perfectly. So I need to get my hands on this pink one, the, the rosy glow, I have to. Oh, I love this so much. Love it. Okay. And then, so I'm gonna put my glasses back on because I'm done my face. And now we're just gonna do the lips. So I picked up both lipsticks and both lipstick cases from the new spring collection. So the cases come in this pouch, um, whereas regular cases don't, just the special edition ones. 
So this one is the pink pearl. So pretty. I still have the tape on it. I can take the tape off because I didn't want to use this before I filmed. Okay. And then when you open it, it becomes a mirror. But then when you close your lipstick, that's what keeps it shut. So if I open it, this is number 07. Kind of like a nude peachy very pearlescent lip color it's so so pretty in the beautiful pink pearl case and then in my second one i took the white pearl case it is so pretty like it's not doing it justice on camera they don't look cheap or tacky at all they're really beautiful and it's like between the pearls there's a lot of little sparkles it's just beautiful they're beautifully beautifully made so again you open it and you have the little mirror close and on this one it's this really pretty rosy color rosy pearlescent and this is number 76 I'm just gonna swatch that. There's that one. So from what I've seen, the nude looks, I can try both on actually. So I'll try the nude first. But this one apparently is really nice as like a topper to add a little bit of shimmer to other lip colors. It's a very, it just glides on so smoothly. And then I'm gonna try the pink. I really wanted to wear the pink one. Um, so this is the pink. So wait, I'm just gonna make sure I take all that makeup, that lipstick off. Okay, I'm going to take this pink. I really think I'll prefer that number seven, the peacher one, more as like a topper. But this one, ooh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I really like this one as, apologies. As an actual lip color. I love this one. I would repurchase this one. It's really a good everyday color for me, especially for spring, summer. So there you go. Those were my new purchases and the only other product I did buy that I did not demonstrate today is the Guerlain Terracotta Highlight Stick. I had to try this. I got it in the color gold and I want to show you guys because it's absolutely beautiful. It has this and it really gives a super natural highlight. So, um, okay, it looks gold. I took the gold color because to me it is the most skin-like color. So it's super natural. See that right there? It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So it has that gorgeous violet scent. Um, beautiful. So if you want like a nice summer glow that's much more natural, that's the way to go. So there you go, my look for the day with my new goodies. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Don't hesitate to ask any questions below. Um, if you haven't done so, but you do like my videos, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. I am getting super close to 200 um, and I will do a 200 follower, uh, 28, 200 subscriber giveaway. So please subscribe and I will see you guys really, really soon. I wish you a lovely day and a lovely rest of the weekend. Bye.